speaker is actually one of our students. We are delighted at our recognition ceremony to hear from two of our graduating master's students. Our first student is Kate Adams, who is finishing her degree in TESOL, teaching English as a second language. If you could please welcome Kate. feeling like we were using the same recycled strategies in our textbooks. I wanted to learn content. I wanted to edit and to write with the confidence that comes with expertise. What's more, I had the particular craving that perhaps only a new mother can have. I didn't just want adult conversation, I craved the challenge, <laughs> the struggle. I wanted to stay up all night writing papers. I wanted to be that engaged and inspired. Did the Teaching English as a Second Language program fulfill my needs and expectations? Well, I came home from those night classes and lay awake too engaged to sleep. I woke up and immediately applied what I learned to my work in the publishing world. I went from mainly editing to mainly writing and pitching ideas. With the content came confidence and creativity. Was I challenged? Did I spend all of one spring break trying to figure out what constituted an allophone and a phoneme in Mongolian? Yes. <laughs> Did I almost pull my hair out? Most definitely. Thank you, Dr. Natirakisa. <laughs> in the paper I wanted to spend all night on, it's how I learned the Chinese language, the language that the majority of my students now speak. I found real value in the opportunity to do independent research. In fact, I ran into another Northeastern graduate at IIT where we both teach, and we both mentioned the research papers that inform our teaching now. Was I encouraged? Among the list of many things I was personally encouraged to do was to enter my paper in the student symposium, to apply to a PhD program, to research and present at an Illinois State Conference, to take my time going through the program to read all the books on the recommended list, to drop by any time, to call my professor at home, to be a part of a community of learners, to go not just where my head, but where my heart led me. If I had an interest, someone had a book and the time to discuss it. Was I afforded opportunity? I had the opportunity and the honor of presenting at a conference with my teacher, Dr. Stone, and a fellow student, Mary Jude Ramirez, this past winter. Then, Northeastern got me in touch with an internship opportunity, and the person who was hiring had attended the conference and she'd seen the presentation. I was hired then, she hired me for the internship, and then for a teaching position this past fall. So yes to those parents wondering, my degree did lead to a job, but what I've come back to most in this job is not the content that I learned. When posed with a problem, I find myself asking, what would Teddy do in this situation? What feedback would Dr. Trademan give to this student? In fact, about halfway through the semester, after focusing so much on being a good teacher, being prepared, asking myself after each class, how did I do? What do I need to do differently? I felt that the classroom dynamic was off. And I thought back to something that Dr. Stone has said. I don't teach English, I teach students. And it hit me. It hit me that it wasn't about me. It was about the students. How did they do? What did they need? Now, the TESOL faculty didn't teach that to me. They showed it to me. They embodied it. Thank you. <laughs> 